everybody! Welcome to my new segment, Drinking and Gaming. As anyone who watched Couch Co-op Season 1 knows, we are huge fans of both beer and gaming. And today I'm going to tell you how to pair video games with beer as if it were a fine cheese or wine. The video game that we're going to be going over today is Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. I have been marathoning this game with my little brother Jesse lately, and it's an absolute blast. Now, this is a classic style dungeon crawler game. You're battling the minions of evil, and you kill them, jack their shit, haul their shit back to town, sell it to a merchant so that you can buy bigger and better shit, which you can then use to kill more powerful demons. And what better style of beer for battling the armies of hell than a Hellerbach? A Hellerbach, which is also known as a Hellesbach or a Maybach, is a German spring strong style lager. Now, a, a Bach is normally a caramely kind of brown color, even though it is a lager, but uh, Hellerbachs tend to be lighter in color, but stronger in alcohol content and hoppiness than a normal Bach would be. You're also going to get uh, a lot more bitter flavor than you would expect from an, a, a, a beer that is that light. Uh, this particular beer that we are going to be pairing with Diablo 3 comes from my home of Oregon and is a very wonderful beer called Dead Guy Ale. As you can see from the label, it kind of fits the, uh, the dead theme uh, and is also delicious. It has a nice, malty, bready kind of flavor, and it's more bitter than you would expect from a beer that is that light, but not in an overpowering kind of way. It's still very pleasant. Um, its color comes from a, a blend of German and Northwest malts. Then they use Pearl and Czech Saz hops to give it its hop flavor. Finishing that off, they use a yeast which is proprietary to Rogue. They have invented it, and it is perfect for pairing with video games because it is called Pac-Man. Uh, Pac-Man yeast is capable of surviving in a high alcohol percentage solution, uh, and that makes it really good for making strong beers. This particular beer isn't super strong. It comes in at a very appropriate 6.6%. .6%. While that isn't the strongest beer out there, it does sneak up on you. This beer can pack a punch and will give you a buzz pretty quickly. Now when it comes to alcohol and video games, I suggest an inversely proportional relationship between the difficulty of the video game and how strong the beer you're drinking is. If you're playing a very hard game, you should drink a weak beer with it because otherwise you're not going to play well, you know, it's going to go down the toilet. However, if you're playing a very easy game like Diablo 3, then level the playing field, have a couple of beers, and suddenly, you know, it'll feel like it's more challenging. If you have played Diablo 3, you will know that Christian rock bands were not lying when they told you that the devil is a little bitch. You feel incredibly overpowered in this game. Sometimes the matches feel about as fair as UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones fighting your little sister. You just plow through enemies, even on hard and expert mode. It's kind of nuts. So go ahead, have a few beers, get your buzz on. And if you end up taking a few more hits than you normally would, then chase your beer with some health potions, because the game gives you way more than you need. Anyway, I hope you try and enjoy that recommended combination, and until next time, I am Jason, and this has been Drinking and Gaming. Cheers!